K-means is a simple way of dividing observations into a given number of groups by determining the location of K group centers, then assigning each observation to a group according to which center the observation is closest to. So, how are the centers determined? An iterative push and pull approach is used. Starting with random center locations, the observations are assigned to the group of the closest center. Then, using those groups, the center positions are updated by averaging the observations in the group. That is, the centers are used to make groups, then the groups are used to recalculate the centers. This process repeats until the centers converge to fixed locations. Because k-means uses random initial center locations, this iterative procedure sometimes converges to non-optimal center locations. MATLAB therefore allows for an option to try multiple starting locations. But which of the resulting solutions is the best? A good clustering should result in observations clustered closely to the group center. Hence, the total distance from each observation to its group center gives a measure of the quality of the clustering. When using the option to run with multiple starting locations, the solution with the lowest total distance is selected.